I remade ChatGPT in one day, and here's how. But first, let me give you a demonstration exactly how this works. We use the Hugging Face Transformers pipeline, and also the Streamlit library in Python. If we run that here, this is the final web application result. We're able to make this simple Toby GPT and speak to this chatbot. Entering in a prompt, seeing the conversation history, and once pressing enter, you get the result. Because ChatGPT is brilliant, but I wanted to see how easy it would be to build your own custom model. Now, I didn't build this entirely from scratch. As you'll see later, I use libraries and other models provided on Hugging Face, but you can customize this exactly to your own needs. This only took a few lines of code, and I'm gonna provide that all to you in the description down below. Now, you can see that when I press enter or chat here, I will very quickly get the output and that will be stored below in the conversation history. Although I will concede this website doesn't look nearly as good as OpenAI's ChatGPT, Gemini or any other similar models such as Claude. This was only written in a very few lines of code and is very easy to replicate and build upon. So let's get into exactly how this was built and how you can create your very own GPT. Kind of. So first load up your Python environment. Here we're gonna be using Jupyter Notebook. We run that in terminal here, and to install Jupyter Notebook onto your system, it's quite simple, just follow online tutorials. Here, you open up a new notebook. We have it here saved as script. And these are the steps you're gonna to wanna to follow. Make sure these libraries are installed via typing exclamation mark pip install, transformers and streamlet, and then import them. Streamlit will be used for building the interactive web app. Transformers will use the pipeline module from Hugging Face to access the model by Facebook called Blenderbot for the chatbot functionality. We're gonna assign that to the variable chatbot below. For some information on the Blenderbot, it was released by Facebook or Meta, and here you can see on their website exactly what it is and how it works. Now that you've got that imported and saved as chatbot from that pipeline, we're gonna want a function to render the UI components. So using Streamlit, we're gonna set the title of the web app to Toby GPT, or for you, whatever you'd like. I'm gonna display a quick greeting message, and then here's where it gets important. I'm gonna initialize the conversation history, just storing an empty list so that it saves what people are saying. And down here, we're then gonna put the user input area, a chat button, and so forth. And you can actually implement some CSS and just really customize this, make it look a lot better than I have, but this is just the basis of getting started. Effectively, you're gonna to want to end per area and a chat button, then generate a response from the model, saving it to the empty list from earlier, and we've got some error handling in here as well. Then finally, just display the conversation history and add a response to that, and you're done. You can then call the render UI function when the script is executed, and this is it. It's not much code at all. Then finally, let's just beautify this a little bit, cleaning up the UI and making sure that it's a lot better for users to interact with. So feel free to try the script out below, leave a like if you did and let me know how you got on. Now all the best and good luck.